Bonus content. Wait a minute. This filter is even bigger than. No, oh, they're the same size. You got like a a menagerie of, uh, of filters. coffee filters. Oh, look. Someone left that out like that. You did, you bastard. Let's uh, lock up the coffee. Where are you going to put it? Someplace special? Yeah. Someplace secret? <laughs> wow. No one will ever look up there. Let's do You're little. so devious. Oh, should I turn the water off or should I leave it? <laughs> turn what it do off. you think? Well, it's been running for 10 minutes. Okay, ready? Let's go. <laughs> you bastard. I left, hello. I left the water on, I think. Did you shut the water? Yeah. Man. Do you realize if we don't use the water, it'll just go to waste? What? what? That I'm just tired. But whatever. <sighs> Uh. So we got a guy on today on Armstrong and Getty, and he's going to talk about marriage, but he's not going to talk about it the way, like, I talk about it where I say it's God's choice. Is um, he the marriage counselor? No. He's, oh, thank God. He's going to talk about how marriage, how um, statistics show mm. that a child that comes from a household that has a man and a woman. Instead who, of a man and a instead man. Instead of a man and a man, or a man and a sheep, <laughs> a man and a lamb. Uh, are better, have better choices. Just like if you go to college, the odds are you're going to make more money. So right. he uses logic. Oh, Amy oh, Lewis, um, special I guest. Blah, 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 I blah, know. <laughs> so he uses logic to defend marriage, which I think is really interesting. And of course, we'll have fun with Armstrong and Getty, and it's going to be a good show. So, so he in. he's saying, what's he saying? He's saying what's that, his overarching that point? Children that are raised in a household with a man and a woman as parents do better than children that are raised with two moms or two dads. Okay. So we're using science to defend marriage. Um, so he's a bigot. No, he's not a bigot. He speaks the truth. Well, okay, well, what are the number of kids in a straight marriage with straight with two with a man and a woman versus the number of okay first parents. of all you made one mistake you used the word straight marriage well whatever there's only one kind of marriage and that is straight marriage oh, marriage up. bigot if you're talking about the abnormal marriage that would be abnormal marriages <laughs> there's abnormal marriages you're abnormal, abnormal Dominic dude just because you know what's really funny I I you, you keep joking to me about that Brazilian girl okay <laughs> well you know that Brazilian girl was raised by two mommies. Okay. And, and 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 her brother went gay, and her sister went gay, and they all went gay in the family, and uh, so it's like, it's like you know not of what you speak. I'm down in the trenches. So you're saying gay parents equals gay children? I think it helps. Whoa. I think uh, you know I, I I don't believe this statistic to say it doesn't. It's just. If you're a kid and you're growing up and you're with daddy and daddy, you're going to say, well, I should try that once or twice. I think that's the big dirty secret that no one ever talks about, trying it once or twice. I think 90% of everybody, except for me, we go. have tried it once or twice. What, homosexuality? Yes, yes, I believe that. <laughs> Including San Francisco Giants baseball players? Oh, of course. Sports, especially, professional especially, athletes? And especially boxers, wrestlers. Okay, I gotta get the show ready. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Wrestlers. Wrestlers. Hulk Hogan's gay. Hulk Not according Hogan. to that video on the internet. Hulk Hogan and uh, his friend. What's his pig vomit? Bubba. What's Bubba. Bubba the <laughs> love swim? Yeah. Okay, see you later.